Okay, give me one second to make sure the stream is up. I just gotta check the audio. And it should be good. Okay. So as you can see, I already have the uh, speaker headphone volume turned down. So it took me a few minutes to get the stream going. I apologize for that. I remember this game is notoriously, ridiculously loud. Okay, so without further ado, I'd like to start off by going to um, ZX Games' official part of the Game Jewel website. So we can start with the trailer video to get some hype, I guess. I think there might actually be other teaser trailers. But... This is the only one that I know about, so... Also, this might be a bit quieter because, again, I turned down the volume of the whole, like, system. But it's just music, really. Don't touch Freddy. <laughs> If you can't tell, this is also the um, Halloween demo trailer, which I did play like seven months ago. To the best of my knowledge, this game finished about two months ago and the developer just got back to me yesterday asking if I could finish it and, you know, considering this one game is the reason I've been playing FNAF games for like seven months, it'd be kind of weird not to. <laughs> so this one's interesting because... It has the actual game download and then an extras screen, which I'm guessing you unlock by beating like the last night, and then you get a code to unlock the extras. So, and I say that um, there might be other trailers, because there's the Happy Birthday trailer and Mangle trailer. Uh, again, if you guys are interested, <laughs> why did you just say foo in the chat? If you guys are interested in that, you guys can um, go look for that elsewhere, but I it's not on here, and I don't know where it is. I mean, I guess there's this video, but... Yeah, this is just it's gameplay. It's getting louder! <laughs> this is someone else's gameplay, so... Again, you can check that out if you want to, but... I I, I mean, I guess it's good, it's just not mine. <laughs> so without further ado, um... Hopefully the audio is not ridiculously loud, and you can actually still hear me talking. <laughs> so this is Ioptoper, or Attack the Pizza Robots. So, the one thing I'm really, really hoping... That he added since the last time I played was an actual instruction guide on how to play the game. And I understand that it breaks the fourth wall or whatever, but it's kind of necessary <laughs> to actually know what you're doing. Oh yeah, they also changed the music. It's really jamming now before it was like spooky. Can we just take a second to appreciate this jamming music? Does this just get you in the mood to survive six nights at Freddy's? Actually, I don't know how many nights there are in this. It's gotta be at least five, right? Okay, so, to be fair, I didn't look back at my old video to see what the password is to the second night. I'm sure you would have changed it anyway, but I might as well just give this a thorough run-through, right? Oh, there's no weird tiger sound when I... Okay, there it is. I guess it's a lion, actually. Oh no, don't tell me. Whoa. <laughs> what is that? Okay, listen up, buddy. I know you took that job at Freddy. But you gotta get out of there, pronto, or else you're a goner. Okay? I wouldn't go outside the office since those things are probably awake by now. But you need to stay alive. Look, I... I worked there before you, so I know how to keep them away. You see the stage on the camera? Hey, if any of those characters move, you can use the shock button to keep them away from you. But if they reach those vent grids on the walls, they'll climb through them, and they will get to you, quickly. If anything comes into your room, you put on the Freddy hat and wait until they leave. I think they have this thing in their programming that prevents them from bumping into each other while walking around, so... If they recognize you as one of them, they won't be able to go near you, even if they want to. <laughs> but I don't think all the characters have that kind of thing, though. Ooh. So, just, just watch out for them. Get out of there. Get out of there as 
soon as you can, okay? Take care. And don't die on me, please. <laughs> what? Well, to be completely frank, it doesn't exactly sound like his problem. Oh, that's right. I forgot. The, um... Only the cameras with the controlled shock are the ones that you gotta pay attention to so far. I played too much Minecraft. It sounded like a dragon for me. Oh yeah, the, the um, roaring sound. I, I mean, I guess there's no way to say for sure, right? Oh, controlled shock. I don't know if that sends him all the way back. I actually don't know where he goes. I guess he just falls to the ground or something. Oh no, there he is. Yeah, so that sends him running somewhere. Uh, so something I also think is I oh I guess I do have power I don't know exactly how important it is for me to not waste the power So I should probably find all the ones I need to pay the most attention to. Wait a second, I can shock Foxy. Is that the one he was talking about? Oh, that that's right. I have to recharge the controlled shocks. Yeah, so of course the first night shouldn't be that bad, so don't expect too much. Oh boy. I'm guessing that's Chica in the shadows. What is that? Wait, is that the living tombstone ghost song? I don't actually know where Chica is. This is bad. Do I have doors? I do, but I can't close it. Um, I think I'm gonna die. I don't know where Chica is. I hear a lot of vent slamming, and I can't assume it's good. Better luck next time. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to memorize the vent spaces. Yeah, so I feel like this is more of a musical experience than an actual game, to be completely honest with you. Yeah, so it looks like... There's only six knights on here. I don't know what is on the extras thing, though. I don't know if I can skip that. Okay, listen up, buddy. I know you took that job at Freddy's, but you gotta get out of there pronto, or else you're gone. I think I have to listen to this. Okay. I wouldn't go outside the office since those things are probably awake by now. So it's but you need three. To stay alive. Look, I I worked Two there before B. you, so I know how to keep them away. Six, See the stage on the camera. Seven, okay, if any of those characters move, you can use the shock button to keep them away from you. But if they reach those vent grids on the walls, they'll climb through them, and they will get to you quickly. Okay, so there's only six areas If anything comes into your room, with you vents. put on the Freddy hat and wait until they leave. I think they have this thing in their programming that prevents them from bumping yeah, so... into each other while walking around, so... If it, they recognize you as one of them, they won't be able to go near it you. It seems like if they want to. Both Chica but and Bonnie, the if they get in the vents, they just kill you them. anyway, I guess. So. And then maybe like Freddy, you need to use them. the Freddy mask get or something. Get out of there as soon as you can, okay? Take care. And 
Don't die on me, please. Yeah, so I'm gonna try it again. I'm guessing Chica either got through six or seven. Uh, hi, Dr. Alan Grant. Welcome to the stream. Uh, so for the for anyone new here watching this afterwards or anyone that doesn't know, this was the original FNAF game that I first played on my channel, and it's finally been completed, and I'm giving tribute to it. So, yeah. It's pretty good so far. As long as they're not on any of these four cameras, I don't suppose they really can't do anything to me. It seems like Freddy's gonna be the only one that probably requires the mask. It's actually a lot more calming with the whole um, power is rewindable thing. This is definitely a lot more chill of a FNAF game than most of them. Which is mostly the reason I chose it for the first one. Also, can we talk about uh, Bonnie's Six Shades, even as plushy merch has them? <laughs> I think Chica has been eating a little too much. <laughs> it's starting to act a little funny. Yes, it's definitely Foxy, as evidenced by the one plushie that he has. She's probably not going to come in until like night three or something. I literally only have to watch like these four cameras, and the rest doesn't really even matter. Oh, do I shock her? Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah, so even this first night is pretty difficult. I mean, not ridiculously, but... You still have to know what you're doing. I'm definitely glad there's at least some kind of... Uh, tutorial voice recording thing that makes a lot more sense. So it looks like either one can go to either side of the vents, which is interesting. I thought for sure Chica would only go to these two. Also what's interesting is, <laughs> this looks like FNAF 2. Yeah, I suppose it does actually. I think it follows um, FNAF 1 though, because these are like the... Um, I don't know how to explain it, um, it has like the four main characters though. So this is definitely like a FNAF 1 version of Five Nights at Freddy's. As of right now, I only need to look at those cameras, and the rest really doesn't matter. There we go. Whoa, this is new. Okay, so 
I'm thinking what I'm probably gonna want to do is just to make sure I am going to take a quick picture of the code just so I don't forget like a fool. And I know that seems like cheap or whatever, but you'd be surprised how much I'm probably going to need to bring it up. It's <laughs> a Super Mario song. Well, I don't know about Super Mario, but there are some, like, reused um, assets here. I'm pretty sure I heard the um, Living Tombstone song in the background. So, Missing Child, have you seen her Bianca Katerina Owls last seen at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza? Hurricane Police Department? Charlotte Hope Turner. If cited. Why would you contact the Hurricane Police Department? Is that literally just the name of it? Why is there a Cam 1D if it could just be called 8? You know, Sans, there's a lot of questions this game doesn't have answers to. <laughs> so what's interesting is, I think if you knew the code, you could probably just unlock Night 6. Oh, that's what? Oh, so he changed it. So that's interesting, actually. So if you deleted the game, and you knew the code to Night 6, you could probably just, um, unlock all the way back up to it. Well, in that case, I guess I don't need to take pictures, then. Oh, wait a minute. So it tells you what characters are gonna be on each night. But then what the heck are these last three? <laughs> I actually have no idea. So it's gotta be really interesting. So it's like uh, FNAF 1 but with a side of spice. I'm guessing there's another phone call. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, only one phone call, but I guess you only really need one phone call or unless you become hello, hello, I'm the phone guy. <laughs> Don't be a phone guy. He's repetitive. <laughs> I don't... I don't have friends. You're hacking. <laughs> You're definitely moving a bit faster. So the big question is, what does Freddy do? So, weirdly enough, the first priority is always these four cameras, regardless of what I think the other characters are doing. I might need to check in on Foxy eventually, but for right now, it's literally just these four cameras. Was... Is that not the... Whoa, wait, hang on a minute. We should do this again sometime! <laughs> wait, no! Wait, hang on a minute. Have you played Ultra Custom Night? Isn't that the other game by, um... Uh, I want to say XD, I don't remember. The creator of this game, I know he has another one, and I think it is Ultra Custom Night. Uh, Dr. Alan Grant, I have not, but I'm thinking about it, honestly. But, Dean, I'm <laughs> literally your phone guy. Uh, Sans, you know, to be fair, I think you have. ZX, that's the one. Yeah, ZX has other games as well. I don't really know much about the other ones, but I do believe Ultra Custom Night was one of his other ones. So I have not tried that, but I'll think about it. Okay, so you'll notice what happened there is it sounded like the FNAF, the original FNAF 2 Bonnie played, or the original FNAF 2 Bonnie sound effect played, and I'm guessing he was in my room, and I actually thought it was just a sound effect, <laughs> and then he just murdered me because I didn't put the mask on. So if I hear that sound effect, it means bad things. So I was definitely wrong about, um, about Freddy being the only one that could do it, though. Can lag. This is the last game I'd expect of any of them to be laggy, honestly. It, it's just a flash game. <laughs> My system can't handle the rendering. How do I know if he's 
in my room other than the sound effect, though. Obviously, I just slammed, <laughs> slammed the tablet down and shoved the mask on, but I don't know. I'm getting a suspicious amount of lag. I guess, um, I'm over here, so maybe checking cameras four would be a good idea. I'm guessing if they're near there, maybe. I always know when they move because the camera makes sound effects, but... I don't know how to tell if they're getting close. Maybe they'll stand in the, in the doorway. Well, that's weird. I can even hear them moving off camera. So that's really useful. So first priority every time I hear movement is check these four cameras. Unless I hear uh, what sounds like the FNAF 2 sound effects, then they're probably staring... Actually, that's probably what it is. They're probably standing right at the door when that plays. Which is not good. <laughs> oh, shoot. Bad touch. Get away from there. I don't want no bunnies in my vents. Dust bunnies. Turns out that the game has way too many ray tracing <laughs> features. <laughs> I think it's the static effect, to be completely honest with you. If this is the, um... Oh boy. Freddy fast bump. Why does Freddy sound like a hillbilly? <laughs> God. Yeah, but if this is the epitome of ray tracing, I think technology has gone too far. That's what I wanted to say. Oh god, I don't even feel like there's a point to check in the other cameras. Oh god. Oh god, that's what it is. Yep, that's what it is. You can't touch me even if you wanted to. That's what he says. That's what I'm really hoping. <laughs> What does Freddy do, though? Does he also try to get in the vents? I can only assume it's not good. Oh, shoot. That's not what you want to see. At 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd say you'd need to look at other cameras if you thought they were near your room, but it doesn't really seem like that's the case anyway, because you get the sound effect in a decent amount of time to shove the mask on. Oh god. There's also that sound effect, I guess. Oh, whoa, wait, hey. Isn't that the actual Freddy outside my window? What do I do about that? Is he just there? Why is he there? What do I what do I do? <laughs> was I supposed to stop him at some point? Cause if I was, I definitely didn't. Oh, oof, wait, hang on a minute. Where is he going? Whatever he's doing, he should stop doing it. <laughs> I only have two hours left. Oh god. Oh, oh god. I don't know what to say about that. I don't think there is much I can say about that. Maybe they're both showing me how the j jiggle <laughs> physics in this game work. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this game is fairly simplistic, I'd, as long as it doesn't get too much more complicated than this. Again, there are, like, four other characters, so who, who knows. Oh, 
Oh shoot. Yeah, he gets in here a lot. Um, there really isn't anything I can do about that, huh? Woohoo! It's Mario time. And more children are missing. Wait, okay. Bonnie, Chica, Freddy. Yeah, anyway, if for some reason I didn't need the code, I could just go back to the stream, because it looks like it unlocks the knights sequentially. Yeah, so I'm guessing we're gonna see a new character, quote unquote character, each night. Also, if you guys didn't notice, the actual thumbnail of the stream has Freddy with a child in his mouth. You have to look close to see it, though. And I didn't edit that in, that's just how it is. Okay, we're gonna find out what Foxy does. There might be a phone call for this one. Why are there lines <laughs> at Five Nights at Freddy's? Gonna squonk the bear for luck. Can anyone tell what that bottle says? It says something soda. It's very uh, cursive and kind of blurry. I want to say it's something gulp, but I have no idea. Oh, yeah, they're really moving. <laughs> if Chica wants to eat so bad, why doesn't she just go to the kitchen? Are they- oh wow, they're all just already- okay. I could tell from the Freddy laugh, which is not the one I'm accustomed to. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm literally just only going to check these four cameras. I'm pretty sure I can just randomly waste all my controller shocks, by the way. I don't know why I would, but I can. It takes like two seconds to get them back, so it's not like the biggest deal, but... It's probably not smart to do that. So I'm guessing I need to see... Either if Foxy is coming, or try to stop him from coming, because I'm guessing the mask does not work on him. Wait a minute. These ovens are set to the wrong time. Oh, whoa, hey. Hey, hey, now. You're a rock star. Get your FNAF on. They, they can't both get through the vent at the same time. It's gonna be like that one meme from the actual Ultimate Custom Night that Scott made where they're all just stuck in the vents. Because <laughs> they all went the same way. To be fair, that was a lot bigger vent though. I, don't, I doubt this place is gonna have maximum sized vents. Serpentine. Use this shocker, it will drain all of your battery. Hang on just a minute. <laughs> so Foxy's like, uh, big chungus. He requires a lot more power than the rest. So when I use it, I really gotta know when I'm using it. Hmm. Oh shoot. That's not what you wanna see. Oh, whoa. Hey, Freddy, buddy. Uh, what are you doing to me? Oh, boy. Why, why was Freddy eating the camera? How about no? <laughs> How about you be properly asleep? <laughs> oh God, that takes forever. Probably just barely caught that in time. Yeah, obviously I don't need to wind it up to full all the time anyway, but I should probably have it ready. Also, it seems like uh, Foxy's probably always going to announce that he's trying to come kill me, so it's probably not something I have to be too worried about. No, you get... go. Be gone.
Okay, yeah, this does make it a bit tougher, I must admit. Also, why can Freddy, like, just stop me from charging the battery? That, how does that make sense? God. Can you just not? <laughs> I don't know if there's, like, a certain amount of stages before he fully comes down, but I just don't want him out. Yeah, it looks like Freddy only comes to the room, which is interesting. Time for a controlled shock. I actually kind of love that this is the main way that you like fight the animatronics, because that's like the dankest meme from, like, I believe it was um, FNAF 4, right? Sister location? God, why? I think th the fact that he can do this is the reason why you always want to have extra shock. Wait a minute. I don't actually... I don't actually... Oh god. Need to have full... <laughs> oh, nuts. We hope you enjoyed your stay, but it's time to say goodbye. Okay, that was my bad. Wait, I want to test something, though. To be fair, I did almost get that first try. If all these take me two tries, it still shouldn't take that long. I want to see if you can use one shock on Foxy, because it says it'll drain it all, but it doesn't say that you need it all. Okay, that's interesting. So it's good to have extra, but you don't need an insane amount. Should probably actually fill it before they start coming after me. Never gonna get tired of that laugh. I'm I'm being sarcastic. I have to do this at least three more times. I dabble with the arts of vents. Yeah, so it looks like there is what, a certain amount of time that you have before they share hey, hey, We should do this again sometime. <laughs> okay, I was pretty sure I had that. There might be something I'm missing, but I don't know. Did he get through the vents? That might be the event kill. I don't think it is, but... Well, I know once you have the mask up, you definitely can't accidentally take it off, or it seems like you're very dead. I don't know. I'm busy showing you. Yeah, they definitely give you a lot more time on the fence than they do for the mask. The mask, you just need to be really fast, I guess, and you can't mess up.
I'm definitely pretty happy with the way the game turned out. I, it's made a lot of improvements since the last time I played it. Hmm. Yeah, I was sure at least one of them was there. Seems like Chica's a lot more sneaky than Bonnie is. She has a lot more, like, dark uh, backgrounds, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. Well, from the way I see it, it seems like you should always try to get Foxy first. What is he even doing? Oh, that is the kid inside his mouth. Yeah, that's not good. Um. Wait, do I not stare at him? Wait, maybe that's it. I, I don't think you, weirdly enough, I don't think you can look them directly in the eyes. Because I, I think if they see your eyes, they know it's you or something. That might be it. That might also be the reason why only two can probably jump scare you at the same time. It would also make a lot of sense, I guess. Starts to get pretty sus when they don't show up to the vent cameras after a while. Yeah, I think you literally just can't look them in the eyes. And I'm I'm guessing with the way Foxy is, he must just be an instant kill if you mess it up. I think I got it this time. I don't want to jinx it though. Are the bathrooms like female and male animatronics only, or is that literally just the way they decide to display it? Actually, I guess those could be the changing rooms. They're not necessarily bathrooms. That's not good. Okay, Freddy has me at a hold here, so I really gotta make sure I don't waste this last shock. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. I feel like the phone guy was a little too... I feel like the phone guy was a little too discreet by saying, um... <laughs> they can't get you even if they wanted to, because it seems if they really want to, they will anyway. So Francis Jack Duncan is Foxy, question mark? 
can't really say for sure. I think it's just commonplace to put the kids to like look sort of like the animatronics. I don't know. For anyone that doesn't know the FNAF lore, essentially uh, children were murdered and shoved in the animatronics. That's why they're haunted. <laughs> Looks like uh, Grandpa Freddy. Oh boy, I have no idea what this one's gonna do. What the song plays when you complete a night? Um, he has his full track list on the website, with his official website. I have it in the description of the video. You can check it out yourself. I don't know what it's called, but I know he does have it on there. He has all his music listed, so you could even download it or use it for whatever you want, I assume. I don't think it's copyrighted. I'll know after the stream is done. Obviously, I'm not going to take any of the music out because, first of all, I don't earn ad revenue anyway, and second of all, it kind of ruins the experience. I'm guessing Golden Freddy appears in the room like usual and you just have to pull up your camera quick. I literally have no idea what else he would do. He's obviously... Wait a minute. Is that psychic friend Fredbear? <laughs> well, obviously, but based on that drawing, he is technically real, I guess, but, you know. Is that, wait, is that the new Freddy? Why is he here? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, so it seems like at least one the new Freddy from FNAF 2 is also. Or I guess technically FNAF 2 comes before FNAF 1. The timeline's very confusing, but it would seem that he's at least here. I don't even know why I'm filling it if I'm just gonna waste it anyway. I think I need to get over that. Is that not a living tombstone song? Sounds like it's being sung by the Grim Reaper from Grim and Mandy. At least I think that's what it was called. It might have been Billy and Mandy, actually, if I remember correctly. Oh boy. I really hate it when he does that. Oh dear. God, why? <laughs> Can't you just get going? Those are people eyes. There is a person in that suit. I believe that psychic friend Fred Bear is referenced to a Game 3 video. That is indeed true since bedtime. I've never actually... Um, I think they make that reference in like a few videos, but I've never actually come up with it until now, so it's definitely not my reference. The song When You Complete a Night is the theme when you defeat a boss, except Wart in Super Mario Bros. 2. That is interesting, probably. I feel like there's a lot of value to this game, just like overall aesthetics. Those eyes don't look like they popped out and did. Yeah, this guy looks pretty alive, not to mention he just said, now you know what it feels like, what is happening? How do I stop this guy? Do I have to find him and actually like shock him or something? What on earth? This is getting spicy. 
Yeah, something is wrong here. That's no normal animatronic. <laughs> this dude has spring locks? I sure hope not. Or, or actually, do I have to like spray him with, with my uh, chug jug over here? <laughs> Make him die in the corner or something? I, I, he like, yeah, and I don't even know, because... I'm guessing he shows up on one of these cameras, and I'm just supposed to, like, stare at him until he goes away. Because I... There was no notification to that happening whatsoever. He just straight up murdered me out of nowhere. Imagine you shock him when he... <laughs> Actually, I think... um I think it's called, like, uh, Five Night... Or... One night at 87 or something, Sans, where there's a game with an actual animatronic and he just like swears or something when you like close the doors. So if you have spring locks, he was supposed to be dead. He should be, but something just doesn't seem right there. Where would he even come from? Like, what? Does he kill you if you keep the camera up too long? Like, what? Wait. I didn't- I didn't honk my, uh, Fred Bear for luck, maybe that's why. I always need at least, like, one or two charges on the battery. Yeah, he just- he just appear. He's- he literally- he quite literally is Psychic Friend Fred Bear, he just kind of appears, you know? I just gotta look around the cameras to make sure, cause I don't know what the heck- is that? Oh god, is that him? Wh what do I do about that, though? That's literally him, isn't it? I can't shock him. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? He, he just exists, I guess. W wait, hang on, he moved. What? Mm -hmm. That's the actual Freddy, though. What? Where's the other one? Where's Nightmare Boy? He's about to jump into my office any second now. I'm properly afraid of the yellow man, not you. I don't know what to do. I don't think they can actually kill me from that dis- oh god. I'm not afraid of you- oh god, no, why, please, <laughs> hang on. Okay, they're gone. Okay. I still haven't seen Golden Freddy. Anywhere. Now you know how it feels. Okay, so there's children's laughter, and then he murders you. <laughs> Hang on, that nose is from the first ever FNAF trailer. What? <laughs> this game have custom night. Um, there's an extras part, but it's not like connected to the actual game. I'm guessing there's a code to unlock it. I have it downloaded, but I don't know. The, the, the extra could be literally anything. It could be like renders. I don't know if it's an actual night, any Easter eggs. Oh, this is tough. I don't, I don't know. I mean, he's not even a real character. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do here? I heard child laughter and then he murdered me. Where would that even be? Why is it laggy? <laughs> I don't understand why it's laggy. There's gotta, he's gotta be on one of the cameras. He literally has to be. He just like 
shows up and murders you and says things. I don't suppose he'd show up here, right? Is there like a... I don't know. This whole thing is rather confusing. Maybe I have to find him and click on him? I don't know what it wants. This is him, is it not? It could be the actual Freddy, but... I, I don't know. Also, if that's what the actual Foxy says during the day shift, I understand why he's behind a curtain now. <laughs> what? Oh. It's either something on the cameras that I just need to find, or... I just, like, need to see him in the room or something. Oh, I was hoping I could honk his horn. Um, or I guess his nose, but whatever. Golden Freddy isn't real. He can't hurt you. him what oh god that was that was him he was a shadow he's he's quite literally psychic friend Fredbear so I literally just need to shove down my camera at random intervals to see if he's there apparently how does that make any sense oh god whoa hey what Okay, so it laughs sometimes, but that's not always guaranteed that he's gonna be there. What? Oh, can I not have the camera up a certain amount of time? Oh, that's... Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, that's really... That's really annoying. Okay, fucks, he's not out. Um, I think I need to- I've never tried holding click recharge. Oh, you, okay, you can hold or click. I always just spam it, but... I mean, either way, it takes forever. Well, now that I actually know what it is, it's not horrible, but... It still doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah, how do you just have random phantom? Per but what what really confuses me is that it seems like a person, right? So why is he also a ghost? I don't want to be properly afraid. Yeah, this is getting a lot more intense than I thought it would. At least I know I don't need the mask for him. I guess he just, he's so old that he just like really hates technology or something. What is happening? Like 54 camera flashes at the same time. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, I really can't afford to not have any battery. Just 
go away. Oh dear. Hey, we got it. Oh, hi, Shred. Uh, I don't suppose I've seen you too often, but maybe this is more convenient stream time for you. Definitely isn't for me, necessarily, but this is interesting. So, uh, again, this is like the original FNAF game I played on my channel. It's finally finished. I'm revisiting it. So it was Childs, I guess, but it's really confusing. So, it's a ghost person, but it murders you a lot, sort of. Dude, I joined a Minecraft server, a guy said read the rules and have fun, the other guy came and took half of my HP. I asked where the rules are, no response asking, and they told me to stop uh, maybe that's just not a good server, Sans, I don't know what to say about that. Bunny's looking in his poster after you shocked him. That is interesting. Never made it to the streams, almost always rewatch though. Well, I really appreciate that, Shred, I hope you are enjoying actually being here then. Okay, so, so far we have two characters that go for the vents. Freddy goes into the room and disables charging of the battery. Foxy just takes a lot of battery. I can't keep the camera up with Golden Freddy, so I'm wondering if he's gonna be active immediately. Glitch Bear? <laughs> I mean, maybe? I don't know. I have really have- wait. I'm thinking these last two are probably the original, um, Golden Freddy and Bonnie. But then, if that's the original, then what- is this really Glitch Bear? Yeah, so this next one is Toy Freddy, right? So maybe this is Glitch Bear, I guess. And then these are the original two, Freddy and Bonnie. Yeah, so it is a shame that there's a... Uh, no phone guy to explain how the heck the Nightmare Freddy works or whatever, but again, I guess he's just a figment of my imagination anyway. So let me see if he's just here immediately first. So it seems like he only shows up around 2 a.m. or something. I should probably keep checking pretty spastically anyway. I'm pretty sure the laughing child is supposed to signify that he's coming, but... I guess you can never be too sure. I'll just check around like every hour just to make sure. Okay, so, the real question, oh, he's here already, wonderful. Okay, so the real question is, where is Toy Freddy and what the heck does he do? He would be, uh, there's a camera with a box in it. He, he should be there, right? I forget where it was. There it is. It's literally the charging room. That is his head. Oh no. Did they already get into the vents? I think I'm dead anyway. Yeah, I spent too much time looking for Toy Freddy. Well, uh, GG's, I guess. At least I only took one hour. This is literally immediate death unless it's already 5 a.m., so... Yeah, there we go. Gee, we should do this again sometime. <laughs> I think we should do it again right now. In fact, I've never actually tried opening the extras menu. Just, uh, yeah, it's probably it might be glitch bear. I mean, I have no idea. This Toy Freddy looks like he's about to commit hate crimes while he's smiling to a corpse getting stabs. <laughs> Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, where's phone guy when you need him? Yeah, shaking my head, I'm sorry, phone guy, I always skipped, <laughs> forget it, in all time. Yes, the one time we needed him and he wasn't there. Uh, did you know that glitch trap from FNR is not a glitch trap through a glitch trap, is a reskin, a spring trap, any other mechanics, I don't remember. That's a lot to take in Dr. Alan Grant. But I think I know what you're saying. 
Uh, there's so much going on already. I the, what I'm worried about is I don't know if I need to check a specific camera for Toy Freddy, and that I was neglecting checking the main four, and that's why I died. And I say the main four are just the ones with the vents, because if they get in the vents, I'm just very dead. Oh, oh, right, oh, shoot. Okay, so it does give you a warning right before he's about... Oh, my God, what is that? Yeah, so Golden Freddy tries to give you a warning that you've had your camera up for too long right before you die. He's not a vengeful spirit. <laughs> that I'm aware of. Or maybe he's a kind spirit that only sort of wants to murder you. I saw that. Got it. Why does it take so long? I mean, I don't need to charge it to full. I'm just, just getting worried about Freddy, like, jamming the power. I can see all are commenting, but it's really hard to play and read at the same time. I always try to check after like every night or when I die. Yeah, so unless I die to Toy Freddy, I'm not really gonna check any of the other cameras. Or at least not really anyway. Oh shoot. Oh Ooh. Oh god, he's is really here, isn't he? Oh god, everything is happening at once. This is not what you want. Guys, we can't do anything. What does it mean that he's here? What does that even mean? Just, just leave. He shoved all his bags in my room or something. Oh, oh god, is he slowly building himself? What the heck? What do I do? Why are you here? Literally, what is happening? Wait, no, hang on, wait, I didn't want this. Hang on. Wait, no, I think, if I remember correctly, I saw one of the threads. I think he said he originally wanted to use this as a character, and I think he actually found a way to make it work. This isn't what you want. Oh god. I don't know how to stop him. It just seems like I can't have the camera up that long. He's about to murder me. This I don't know what I did or what I'm supposed to do. Oof. Oh, okay. So as long as I have the camera down at the right time, he might not murder me? Is that what it is? So, he's kind of like the clown from the hole in the wall. Oh, nuts. You know how it feels. Okay, at least I know what it is now. Okay, until Golden Freddy's soul had the theories to a possible name, it was just called Vengeful Spirit. Yeah, that's what I figured, if I, I, I remember that from somewhere. Hey, you hear the real glitch trap inside the files, a leftover and untextured model for spring trap can be found. Said model is also labeled glitch trap, took from the unused contendo of homework on FNAF wiki. Look at this, this is a scanned edited photo taken from one of the pages in the Freddy file, showing the path of the withered animatronics. You can take the FNAF 2 mode, taken from the FNAF wiki. Yeah, that sounds about right. Why is that every animal animatronic wants to kill a team? Uh, I, I think it's more of, um... It's not really a kill Dane kind of thing, it's more of a... What's the name? Hang on, I can remember. 
It's late at night, but I, I can still think, probably. It's a genre of game. I'm literally playing it right now, and I can't even remember what it's called. Your trigger may be <laughs> Robots Furies. Ro oh, Robot Furies. Hate YouTubers. Yeah, probably. Well, not everyone appreciates the traction. RPG, that's what it is. I mean, it's, it's not... I mean, technically I'm me, but we don't know if I'm playing as someone else in the game, you know? Because technically there's some kind of story here, I just don't know what it is. Yeah, so if you guys don't know about Five Nights at Flumpty's, there's this clown that appears on a hole in the wall. I'm pretty sure this giant trash monster is literally that. I'm not sure if Golden Freddy has gotten worse or not. It seems like he has. I only have like 10 seconds at most before I die. Yeah, I don't get a lot of time on the camera. Oh, oh wow, okay. Yeah, that's not what you want. Also, I don't even need to worry about uh, the new Freddy, which isn't even new Freddy. It's literally just an endoskeleton that wants to murder me, apparently. Yeah, I must say, this game is way more involved than it used to be. Oh boy. Oh boy. That can't be good. The other one's gonna come in in like a second. should probably stop spamming the mouse. I really don't need to. Now that you, since you mentioned it, Mr. Grant. Oh boy, wait, hang on, that was this one. Isn't that... Who was that character? Isn't that the white Freddy Fazbear or the fun time Freddy? Isn't that his sound effects? There's a lot of borrowed sound effects, obviously. It's not like ranking on him for it. I actually think it's pretty cool. so much. Okay. Oh, wow, well, okay. Already? Okay, he's, he's about to come get me. Okay, no, I don't want it. Don't kill me. Please go away. He won't do it if my camera's down, right? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I gotta get ready for them to come in. Oh 
he'll be coming in in a second. Still good. Freddy's coming in in a second. Things getting ready to try to kill me again. Okay. okay, there it was. Okay. Yeah, the fifth night really is something, ain't it? Okay, there we go. I feel bad for Samuel Christopher White. He just became a hunk of junk in a box. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's probably the most active I've had chat in a long time. Beta monitor map the monitor's early design shows different buttons for the camera. The camera icons are small circles with cones pointing in the direction they're facing. Yeah, I think I remember that. One night at Flumpty's was a really good one. Yeah, there's a. Uh, I want to say beaver on the toilet. <laughs> Flumpty's the ultimate FNAF fan game. Indeed. For what it was, is very original. Even if it followed the same like mechanics. The second one was pretty darn different, though. There's a strange pixelated image in the game's files, which appears to pick part of a skull's face. This first is Mike. Wow. From the MFA files in Click Team Fusion 2.5 program. In FNAF 2 files... That's really interesting. It sounds similar to Funtime Freddy. Yeah, Funtime Freddy. But it's probably a voice line for specifically this game. Yeah, I'd, I'd think so. In FNAF 2 in the game's third teaser, Mangle is shown to have a hook similar to Foxy. Although in game, Mangle does not have a hook and instead possesses both hands. Yeah, I always thought that was interesting because Funtime Foxy would have had a hook, right? But again, the children, like, they took her apart and put her back together, so I guess she always had another hand. <laughs> creation, is that you? I think, isn't that what it's called, creation? Or at least in, like, this game is called creation, the box monster. In the third teaser, during the Foxy, all seen with glossy black eyes and glowing white pupils are. Foxy is replaced by his previous incarnation, Withered Foxy. Yeah, I remember that. I, I do remember that, actually. Okay, so one more night. Let's get it on. Creation is from T Jock. Oh, that creation. I think this one might also be called Creation though. I don't I don't know. Oh, it's the Phantoms. That's not I thought that was gonna be Gold Bonnie and Freddy for sure. Again, that would make the whole other Gold Bonnie can or Gold um There's a lot of characters here. The other Gold Freddy <laughs> confusing. <laughs> I, I mean, it's interesting enough that there's no um, phone guy to tell you, but also, you're almost guaranteed to die at least once, I feel, to figure out how they work. What is that? Imagine you go on your house's attic, look behind you, and you see creation slowly approaching. Okay, Sans, but only if he does that wacky flip thing from T-Jock. That is the only way I could respect that. If he slowly, like, flips onto you, like, in the, um death scene from that game that was actually really cool what when did the boss music kick in what the heck is going on yeah i'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be working at freddy's on a saturday pretty sure that's why there's boss music something's not right here i don't know what to do about the phantoms oh yeah they're already here 
Whoa, hey, what the heck? Hey, he broke my camera. <laughs> Wait, he didn't like permanently disable it, right? Wait, am I not supposed to look at them? I don't even think I'm supposed to be shocking them. Oh no. Wait, hang on a minute. Oh god, I think that's actually what it is. I think you're not supposed to look at them. I think I just lost those cameras. I might just be dead already then. Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh dear. God. Yeah, they don't give you a lot of time for that either. And they only appear on... Yeah, so I gotta have really fast clicking hands if I want to get this one. Because they only appear on that one camera. I'm already dead, because there's no way I could tell if they're there. Yeah, here they come. I can already hear them. Well, GG's. At least I know what they do now. <laughs> yeah, I think there's always... Oh, Max. Welcome to the stream, man. <laughs> We should do this again I swear, I, I know you said to message you on Discord. I haven't actually sent any messages, but I have been looking for any from you, so... Just know I'm trying, okay? That's going pretty good. Back on the FNAF grinds. Uh, meant to display after being a 20, 20, 20 mode. Yeah, Dr. Ellen Grant seems to be getting into the, uh... F deep FNAF lore here in the files. The ending remains identical. Oh, the chest ending is so annoying. I see one completing Nightmare except the player was able to remove the locks. Yeah, I think I saw that one too, actually. Like, you remove the locks, but you still can't open it for some reason. This can be seen in MFA format for the Halloween update. Interesting. Playing that Scott once intended the game to box opens in FNAF World. Yeah, but he still never did. I think he kind of hates FNAF World that he actually made that. Which is supported by the unused out chest. Yep. Get a break in my stupid schedule soon. I'm away next week, but I'll be in touch. Uh, that's cool, Max. Uh, feel free to tell me anything you want. And uh, make, make sure to relax, man. It's summer after all. Uh, so I'm right now I'm playing like the first and half game I've ever played on my channel. And um, I'm already on the last night. This is actually a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Because this game obviously seems pretty cutesy, but it's pretty hard too. In Nightmare Foxy's teaser, he is shown to have a long metallic tongue. His tongue was never <laughs> revealed in game. Maybe that's for the better, though. Scott Cathwan during the franchise for the anniversary revealed his interview with Daco and he removed the tongue from Foxy's design because he felt it was not scary enough. That's interesting. I wonder what would make him think that. Okay, this is gonna kill me. Like, I mean, I gotta stretch my arms. I really gotta be fast on this because they do not give you a lot of time to react. And it's only on the important cameras that they appear. Yeah, like every time I click on a camera, I gotta be ready to click on a different one. I literally can't lose any of these cameras or else it seems like I'm dead immediately anyway, so... No! Oh wait, I forgot about Golden Freddy. <laughs> that would have been bad. God. Oh god, I keep forgetting about Freddy. This is intense. put FNAF on use content. I mean, if you want to. I don't see why not. The most annoying part is not even the fact that they disable the cameras. It's just the straight fact that I can't flip and see. Oh god. I didn't even think they could do that. 
Oh, no. That's the last character I wanted to die to. Yeah, I definitely wasn't paying attention to him, so maybe I deserve that. Um, yes, dare think I'm not a long time follower. No, you, I, I know you were, Max. You just, uh, you know, I get that people have their own lives. I just appreciate you showing up. Scott needs to give Foxy a tongue reveal. <laughs> oh, that'd be interesting. Uh, oh, well, um, Scott isn't really in FNAF anymore. I hate to burst that bubble, so, so, you know, that's always depressing, but, you know, maybe the new guy could. And it's teaser for the Halloween update of Five Nights Freddy's 4 Nightmare Mangle is shown to be capable of hanging from the ceiling, similar to its original counterpart. Again, this is all very interesting, but... I wonder if we'll ever see an actual implementation of it that's not, like, fan-made. Yeah, this, this might take me a few tries, but I'm sure I can get it eventually. I just gotta pay attention to Mr. Trash Heap. So, what's also interesting is I probably don't want to st- um, whenever I put the camera down, I don't want to be on 6, 7, 3, or 2B because apparently they can show up even just when opening the camera. Imagine someone not knowing Freddy Fazbear. Okay. I think once it hits 1 a.m. Oh dear lord. That's when the real fun begins. I kinda hate everything about old parts in a box. Oh, God. Wait, hang on. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, go oh god. Okay, so it turns out I don't need to click another camera. I can just refresh it. That's actually kind of hilarious. Uh, yeah, just uh, go away, I guess. Oh, what? No way. Okay, how did he get it? I think it's because my game lagged for a second. That's unfortunate. I wonder if I could still possibly get it if I just randomly control shock that one every now and then. Now you know how it feels. You okay, there's a lot to think about. Have a great stream, man. I gotcha. Well, thank you so much for showing up. Gotta go watch the Saw franchise for the fourth time to make a video. Uh, well, I'll definitely check it out if I have free time, Max. Again, I really appreciate you showing up to the stream. It's been a quite a while, but it's always good to see a friendly face. <laughs> Saw franchise. Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Horror games unite. Imagine Freddy, but with Saw's face. Yeah, so the characters I need to pay the most attention to are Boxman and Golden Freddy. Because both require putting down the camera. Did anyone ask? <laughs> wow. What are the chances that they show up? Is it literally like a straight 50-50? Cause they show up a lot actually.
It seems like they can't show up twice in a row. I might be wrong. It might just be good to like spam it all the time. I'm afraid of literally anyone but you, buddy. I think Foxy's the only one who hasn't killed me, actually. You know, what sucks about the uh, weird phantom things is that they make me spend longer on the cameras. Go away. They're so feisty. Oh god. No, uh, gosh darn it. Yeah, I really shouldn't leave it on one of those cameras. Because I'm just not ready for it. Did they? Oh. Uh, I saw that and they still got in the vents. I'm dead. You don't suppose I could shove old parts in the way and they just couldn't get in, right? Because the vent is, like, right behind old parts, technically. I mean, if I was brave enough to actually walk next to that thing. Bunch of red tinted circus baby with pigtails obscured or missing. Big cook reveals that the file was really used for part of an early game over screen. A bone shown crawling through the vents in the first teaser for sister location, customer update, but he never does so in the game. One time for these unused voice lines. Yeah, that's interesting. Imagine FNAF 1 except instead of the Tourette music box, but he just goes. Hi, <laughs> Vsauce Michael here. <laughs> that would be interesting. Uh, there is a blueprint of Molten Freddy only found in the game files. It supposedly belongs to the rest of the blueprints found in the Insanity ending. FNAF used content. Well, I mean, it's completely irrelevant to what I'm doing right now, but it's still interesting. And technically, this all is FNAF related, so, you know. Should be done any time now anyway, hopefully. I am really surprised at how difficult this last night is. I knew it would be hard and know if it'd be this hard. Alright, I guess it's not necessarily that hard, but it's very involved. Okay, so it looks like they can come up more than once, if you're not careful anyway. Oh, 
Yeah, these are definitely the most annoying of all the characters to deal with. Oh boy. Don't I have to stare at that until it goes away? Donate. It didn't glitch, right? I can literally hear one of them coming through the vents to kill me. I'm. T <laughs> wait, hang on. Wait, no. What? Okay, that that's gotta be a glitch. Come on. I'm dead anyway, but. We should do this again sometime. <laughs> okay, well, apparently if that happens, uh, just, you know, throw the monitor around. In the first release of the game, there's an obvious error showing both animations for Toy Chica flipped <laughs> horizontally. They were fixed on the update pack. And each fell over Rockstar Chica with her position in the West Hall flipped horizontally. <laughs> it's be used for the right hall. Imagine that. I'm, well, I guess probably some people saw it, but I just feel like that'd be hilarious to see. <laughs> I really hope there's no more knights in the extras, because there could be a seventh knight. I have no idea. Or a custom knight, if you want to call it that. Seems like they always start by coming to this area. <laughs> and I technically don't have to do anything until they start running around. Because I can always hear when they move. There's no way one of them already got in the vents. I mean, I, obviously, I think I'm dead anyway, but how did he get in there so fast? Gee, we should do this again sometime! <laughs> okay, I guess I was wrong. I'm wondering if they move at the same time maybe it like overlaps there's an unused animation from the frettles going under the beds that the frills were planned to appear in the night uh terrors modes that would be interesting i saw if i was placed in a folder called multiplayer <laughs> what character info so on this we're supposed to be in fnaf vr how would you would someone like be one of the robots or something? How would that even work? I honestly have no idea. Yeah. Okay, there he there he was, but nothing I can do about that. I don't know if something was there, but better safe than sorry, I guess. Chica gets in the vents, I blame literally everything else. Okay, there she is, gosh darn it. I knew she was about to, but... I 
mean, you can kind of see past him, I guess. <laughs> Was I literally a split second off from catching him? <sighs> I'm trying so hard. <laughs> I don't know if they're actually... Every knight's given a password so far. I don't know what happens if knight 6 has a password. Like, what would that even unlock? I don't even know if there will be one. Maybe it just unlocks the 6th knight, but I'm pretty sure that's what the 5th knight does, so... Actually, has an older and longer alert animation that went unused instead of raising his Sith scythe. He would stand there and lift his head up how <laughs> like a wolf? That's interesting. I mean, maybe that's why I wasn't doing well. I didn't I didn't honk my Fred buddy. I don't think anyone wants you. Is that just always going to be the one that gets me? How long do I have with Foxy? That's what I'm wondering. Because I can wait until... Until my charges get, like, low. And then do Foxy, but I don't know how long I have until he just runs over and murders me. Like, classic FNAF style. Did I make 2 a.m. that time? I wasn't paying attention. In the first trailer and one of the screenshots for the game's first release, Nightmare Fredbear's model seems to have textures resembling Nightmare Freddy, lacking his buttons. When new screenshots, the curse of Dreadbird D. Silly Dreadbird were shown appearing in spooky mansions, hallway segment, but never did in game. You have a lot of, like, uh, wacky game file information. I'm assuming you're getting this all from the wiki, but, you know, still very interesting. <laughs> Think box of old parts is adopted. <laughs> I actually don't know if the robots can show up on Foxy's camera. Oh, they can. Oh, God. I can always hear Foxy, so that's not actually a big deal. He literally announces his presence. Oh, oh god. I just barely got that. 
What? No, come on. Who got in the vents? Well, it doesn't even matter if Foxy's cameras go out, because I just heard him, like, he's, he's active, I know that. Gee, we should do this again sometime! <laughs> I wonder who else has actually taken the time to beat this. I'm sure the developer has, obviously, but... Yeah, from the wiki, I imagined. Unnamed robot bear in the earlier photos and trailer of the game. There's a robotic bear similar in appearance, and it's a prototype. It could have been a counterpart or an early design of said enemy. Golden Mechrab? I think that's what that says. In the first trailer, there appears to be a crab type enemy with its shell painted gold. The same was never used in the game. So it could be McCrab's early design. I think I know what you're talking about. You like the FNAF World Mech Crabs? the best way to go about it is tell if I got that or not. I think I did. It doesn't matter. This is really intense, actually.
Well, I already got Chica, now they're both there, so... Shouldn't have done that. Don't don't tell me. Oh, no, I'm a fool. Maybe I can. Whoa! Whoa! What the guys? What has happened? It's your boy? Wait, is that me? I mean, I don't think that's me, but... Interesting. I might have to play that back. What the heck? What did that say? <laughs> is it like, it's your boy or something? What the heck was that easter egg, guys? There's an animatronic radio and it said like, it's your boy or something. I have no idea if that's like a reference to when I played the game originally. 11, 13, 1998. Paint. So, um, to answer uh, Ted's, I think that that's it, right. Let me make sure I want to confirm. Yeah, Shred, right. Shred Taker, okay. To answer your question, I think I'm supposed to be playing as Mina Chesser. So $120, good job, sport. So they actually expect me to work on, on Saturdays? Whoa. Oh, there it is, guys. So to access the extras, I need to enter code DANIEL. Enter this password in a separate application linked on GameDrill. Write this down. I think I'll remember. Daniel. Connor and Chloe Woods last seen. Okay, so other two people. We can't even see their faces. I think this is the credits, by the way. Uh, where, where did I last stop reading? There's so much here. Yeah, the FNAF World Mech Crabs. Uh, this trailer of FNAF World showed Freddy walking diagonally <laughs> in the 3D overworld, although Freddy can now walk diagonally in the update. The sprite is still unused. The name is Beaver Animatronic as a character intended to be the main antagonist of the first game. Actually, you know, it's just the one to be in Foxy's place was meant to be a beaver or a fox, but then decided to make it a fox. Placed by Freddy Fazbear and much of Chipper, discuss early game, Chipper and Sons Lumber Co. So much info. Also, this is a really great game, can I just say? Every character actually has something pretty significant to him. I know that, like, uh, Bonnie and Chica are kind of like the same thing, but it never feels like too saturated. Here lies Daniel Chesser. Will be dearly missed by his loving sister Mina Chesser. Interesting. So I think I just exit the game and I'll open the extra menus now. Daniel. That we just saw the credits actually. Yeah, so I'm gonna exit this one. Now if we go to the extras. I have no idea what's going to happen, by the way. I think there's a pretty sizable amount in this extra screen. Card put below. Ah. Pretty. Bonnie. Chica. Foxy. Michael... Gold? That you can't convince me that isn't an actual person in that Freddy suit. Oh, so they're just calling this the Mangle then? I guess that's fair. Uh, Shadow Freddy slash Fredbear. Yeah, I thought they were the originals, right? There are counterparts of them. Shadow Bunny or Jack Rabbit? Is that really what it was called? I know Fredbear. I, I don't think I ever heard of Jack Rabbit. So these are the animatronics. Jump scares. Uh, guys, make sure to turn down your volume first. <laughs> oh god.
do. Well, at least we can see all the points do. Is it, that's like the f these are all the, um... These all sound like different variations of the sister location jump scares. Bonus content. Sammy the puppet. After his removal, Sammy would go on to possess the mangle instead. Interesting. <laughs> the green button? During gameplay, the camera would originally have crashed when an animatronic moved. This mechanic proved to be very tedious and practical, so it was ultimately scrapped entirely. When used to reset, the monitor still remains today. <laughs> oh. I, I thought the green button was weird, like I thought you could press it for something. Missing child Sammy White, Daniel Tresser, Black Elf. During the game's conception, scrap Night 6. But there is a Night 6. A completely different approach to the Six Night was considered this would have you travel into an underground warehouse, or you'd face off against Michael, Sammy, and the Shadow Twins. So I was scrapped due to the storage restrictions and for being far too different to the main game. A mock up of what the office could have been like can be seen here. Whoa, what, what on earth? What am I looking at? <laughs> Welcome to Freddy's. Originally, Attack of the Peach Robots started out as a game for the fan games at Freddit's Game Jam. I did not know that was a thing. <laughs> Known as Welcome to Freddy's, it featured a completely different cast of pizza time animatronics similar to this game. It also had an early draft of what Michael would eventually become the characters can be seen here. So we have uh, Illuminati, Freddy, Illuminati, Bonnie, Illuminati, Chica, Illuminati, Foxy, and uh, good old, f um, I want to say Fredbear, what did they called him like Michael Gorg or something? Michael Golds. It's a weird way to spell it. Michael Gould? I don't know. Oh, of course, the next page is literally just his name. This looks like the same thing, except it has teeth, honestly. Wait, come on. You, you can't tell me it doesn't confirm that it's a person inside it. It has, like, the literal mouth in there. And it's not like a child mouth, because it couldn't be, right? <laughs> Jacko Chico is scrap. What would she even do? FNAF AR-based skins? <laughs> what are these magics? Would these be, like, unlocks or something? What would, what, would, what would these be? Shamrock Freddy and Magician Mingle, what would they be intended to do, though? Thanks for playing. Yeah, so, I guess this is the final conclusion after seven months to Attack of the Pizza Robots. How long is the stream? Like, two hours? I mean, I, I guess that's really all there is to it, though. So thanks to everyone that showed up, there's some I haven't seen in quite a while, so I really appreciate that. Now let me read the comments quick. In the Curse of Dreadbird DLC, game falls for help wanted, there is a different texture for the frills that is unused. They are apparently supposed to be the build a mangle segment. Baby trap is help wanted, was meant to serve plush traps replacement for dark rooms, level segment, and black light mode. The only items support baby traps. <laughs> Existence is that her name and instructions are found deep within the text string files. The mangle has a psychic power <laughs> that holds knives in the air. Um, she was holding a rock, right? Um, gee, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I guess <laughs> it is called magician, so I, I guess it's magic. I, I don't know what else to say about that, Sans. That's just kind of how it is. They, they were scrapped after all. Maybe they were a little too silly or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, thanks to everyone that showed up. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like if you haven't already. I see most of you did, so I appreciate that. And um, see uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and hit notification bell for more content like this. Again, you can see I really had to <laughs> turn down the audio here because it is very loud <laughs> and and if there's anything you want me to know make sure to leave it in the comments and as always thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day
Yeah, that's all you guys have to say. Uh, by next stream, Ultimate Custom Night. Mm, I'm not sure yet. I, I'll talk it over with Sans Bad Time. Because I said I might do, like, um, Tyken Sun's Lumber Co. tomorrow, actually. So, I'm considering that one. I just don't know when yet. Again, I'll talk it over with Sans, though. So, I think next will probably be Tyken Sun's Lumber Co. And then maybe I could do that one and then switch to another one Sans had in mind. Because I think he had at least two. But yeah, it's been fun. I'm definitely glad to finally finish this one. It really turned out great, so a big hoopla to ZX Games for finally completing it. I mean, I guess it technically was done two months ago, but he only got back to me now. But again, still glad to have finished it. So bye, guys. Have a good night. And if it's not night, have a good day. Adios.